Welcome everybody to Command Combat Computer Reports. Today we have Iceni versus Egypt. Iceni is ambushing and it is the Battle of Tulsa. I mean Tulsa. I with me today is Troy. Good to be back, Jeff. Good to have you back, Troy. It's been a little while. Yes, it has. Uh, it was nice of them to give me this weekend release. All right. So what we have is the ambush here. The uh, Iceni are going to ambush the Egyptians from this hill. Looking down on them, I'm not sure the Egyptians quite know that they're there. Maybe. Oh, wait a second. Maybe they will know here in a moment. Oh yes. I guess when you start flinging big flaming rocks at them, they learn that you're there. So how are the Egyptians reacting? Do you think? Uh, looks like they're reacting uh, poorly. They're kind of running in both directions. Some of them going after this cavalry, and you know when you have individual guys chasing after, uh, you know. On, on foot chasing after cavalry, you're not exactly going to work, but... Well, and I imagine that to the Egyptians, the uh, sight of horses is something totally new and evil. Although, I, I like how they were, hold, they were holding their plates up, like, We want your horse! We want to eat it! And it seems like they can send, they're sending archers up here to take on the ice and the archers. And not exactly effective when you're, you know, downhill and they're uphill. But, yeah, I guess they're being kind of effective because they're pushing them back. And they're going to follow it up with Hellenic Royal Guard. Oh, meanwhile, look at that. The Iceni have some uh, veteran horse riders over there. It looks like heavy cavalry coming around, and I'm sure the, uh, that the Egyptians know they're coming. What do you think? Well, it's taken those uh, that uh, those horses there a little bit of time to dump it into the fray. Although, if they succeed totally catching the opponent by surprise, yeah, it looks like oh, too late they turn, and now they're just going to be trampled underfoot. Yeah. I think that they're going to be taking them out, so let's take a look up here at how the attack is taking place up the hill. Uh, it looks like they're kind of struggling there to get up that hill. Well, oftentimes in these type of battles, high ground means a lot. It will allow an inferior force to overcome a superior force. And in this case, it may actually be the other way around. Yeah, I think that, uh, the Isenir are going to hold that hill pretty well, and you can already see that the heavy cavalry is destroying the uh, right. the archers back there. I wonder what happened over here. Look like, you know, it, it's kind of clever of the Isenir. I think what they did was they uh, ambushed them with this cavalry, ran off, and caused the Egyptians to uh, take some of these guys out of the battle while chasing them down, which made it so it was a smaller force attacking up the hill. Although now they have a bunch of them going after those that pesky uh, uh, catapults there. Oh! Looks like they caught him with the, the cavalry, though. Well, getting those catapults under control has got to be paramount. If they don't do something about those, uh, they're just going to be decimated before they ever actually get a good it, Yeah, it was really smart of them to come down after. Oh, it looks like they're grabbing and pulling it down. How are those? <laughs> it's the moving catapults. It's tank catapults, tankapults. It looks like their cavalry is breaking through. The Iceland cavalry is breaking through, going, going down at them. Oh, what are these guys doing? But once the yeah, once the um, hand to hand comes along, yeah, you kind of have to just sort of let it happen and go and look at what's going on over here. Looks like the Iceland have the uh, Egyptian uh, Egyptian surrounded here. I am curious uh, what the progress of. Heavy cal cavalry has been to this point. Oh, well, let's take a look here. I, I kind of th think they could be the uh, the Joker in all of this. Yeah, it looks like they've, they've, they've got uh, they're kind of trampling the Egyptians everywhere they find them. And look at this, some of the Egyptians broke through and it didn't really work in their favor because they got surrounded. Maybe that the Iceni holding that high ground pretty much just were able to hold it. If the, uh, if the Egyptians break through at any point, maybe they can get a flank somewhere, but so far, it pretty much has held them off, but although you look down there, there's still some Egyptians down there. Maybe they can do something. Well, at this point, I think uh, they haven't made an impression of you, which uh, I think in this case would be more than the Egyptians. Even if, uh, see, at this point, if they had earlier made a decisive move to outflank their opponent, I think right about now they would see the benefits. But as is, they have not brought their forces to bear in a timely fashion. Although you look at it here, right now they're starting to break through, so maybe that is, that's going to happen. Notice they've just broken through on this flank. Uh, so the Iceni hold this, and the Egyptians have now broken through and are holding that, so they might this might actually be their push. Oh, but the Iceni, that, you were talking about that heavy cavalry. Right. 
That really has been decisive in this battle. I'm yes. not really sure the Egyptians had anything to counter the heavy cavalry at this point. Again, without a well-coordinated, large push against that cavalry, they allow that heavy cavalry as they are right now to basically punch them in the nose here and there. It's really going to do collective damage over the course of the battle, and I think that's what we're starting to see. Yeah. I think so too. Although, hey, they just annihilated the heavy cavalry just as we were talking, or just as we were talking here. So. They might have actually have done it. What is this? This is the Royal Royal Peltus. That is going to be their key players. Well, and, and of course, this goes back to my belief that I hate the Egyptians because they do always seem to make people look <laughs> Yeah. Well, let's see what they do. The Royal Peltus. Oh! Oh, look at that guy. That was... Uh, that one guy was Rambo up there. Oh! Another guy getting him in the stomach. And they've... Man, they are causing them to rout. That, Watch for these royal peltas. They may just be, they look kind of like waiters with their, uh, you know, trays up there. But this has turned into a, one heck of a fight. Now they're on even ground, fighting toe to toe. It looks like about even odds, actually. For the feather. And it looks like the ice and you're just throwing in everything they can to get rid of those peltas. Yeah, I was just taking note of the uh, massive commitment they have made to confront the Egyptians at this point. And actually, I personally think that was probably a good move. Uh, I think at the current moment, I would say the Egyptians, my eyeball estimate is that they are, their rate of attrition is higher at this point. What do you think, Jeff? I think so. I think they're just, you know, they did, they made a really good show finally making that push, but it might have been too late. Their attrition is just too high. And obviously their organ, organization here is gonna come into question. They're going to be exhausted from running up that hill. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be for the ice in the year. We're seeing the last of their units, even though those Peltists are starting to go out. And I think that's... Oh, no, that isn't the Peltists. The Peltists are actually gone. The Royal Guard is retreating. And you know what they say when the Royal Guard sings... Wait, was that something about a fat lady? Oh, here are they. Oh, here are the Peltists. They are still here. They're doing everything they can. They're going to fight there to the bitter end. Oh, look at that. You have the whole group is just running away from the Peltus going, screw that, we're going to go after... What is this? Oh, other... Peltus. What I do like about the current scenario that we're seeing playing out here is that both players seem to be uh, pretty solid in their methodology and their tactics and their responses. What we're seeing overall, I think, is fairly cohesive a battle. It's, it's sometimes you get into these scenarios and you and I have seen them together as we go through these different uh, combat reports and things devolve into just a pitched battle into total chaos and mayhem. And this seems like a more collective cohesive effort by both players. It really is. I did want to point out these are some of my favorite guys in the painting ones. These guys are just running around, you know, with more paint on. It looks like they're kind of like, okay, another target, let's go after them, guys. Whee! That's sort of why I've been following them around. All right, party over here. Party of Joes. Whee! Party of Beltas. Whee! I don't even see many of the pink ones getting killed. They've really, you know, it's been sort of that one Peltus group and the painted ones have really been your main uh, forces. But I really kind of always believe that uh, it really comes down to, the, in a lot of hand-to-hand -hand battles, it comes down to your setup. Because once, once uh, you know, once it gets real, once everybody's in hand-to-hand, -hand, it's pretty much the dice, the die is cast. So now all the painted ones are heading out after these other targets, but I think at this point it's pretty obvious the Egyptians have been beaten. Oh, in fact, there they run off the table. So that's about it. Well, that'll be uh, it for Troy and I here at Command Combat uh, uh, Computer Reports. Thank you all for watching. Um, uh, be sure to subscribe. Send money. Happy gaming, everyone. Send money.